Find the zeros and give the multiplicity for each zero. So they give us this polynomial function here, and thank goodness it is already factored. Boy, that makes it so much easier. And what you need to do to find your zero is say that your f of x equals zero. Okay, now I'm going to rewrite this, negative two. I'm going to write out x plus five, and then I'm going to write both of these factors out twice, x minus 7 times x minus 7. Now, what I'm looking for is any number for x that would make this whole thing 0. So I take all of my factors, or possible factors, and I set them equal to 0. Negative 2 is 0, x plus 5 is 0, x minus 7 is 0, and x minus 7 is 0. And let's look at each one. Is negative 2 equal 0? No. Negative 2 is not equal to 0. There's no way that'll ever happen. I don't get any answer there. For the second one, x plus 5 equals 0. Well, if I subtract 5 on both sides, I'm going to see that x equals negative 5. That's one of my zeros, negative 5 x minus 7 equals 0. Well, if I add 7 to both sides, I'm going to find out that x equals 7. That's another 0. And then this is the same thing. So add 7 to both sides, and x equals 7 again. <laughs> now, since this is the same number and happens twice, I only need to include it once. So I have two zeros here. My zeros, and the answer to part A, the zeros are, zeros are negative 5 and 7. All right, the next question they ask is what is the multiplicity for each zero? Well, the multiplicity is going to be how many times that zero shows up. You can find it if you look up the original equation. The multiplicity of 7 is 2, and the multiplicity of negative 5 is 1. So I'll put down here multiplicity, multiplicity. So the smaller 0, which is negative 5, is going to have a multiplicity of 1. And the larger 0, 7, is going to have a multiplicity of 2. And part B says, does the graph cross or bounce at each zero? All right, now you will probably also hear this as instead of bouncing, instead of something bouncing off, they're going to say, it touches and turns around. All right, I call that bouncing cross or bounce. And if your multiplicity is odd, Okay, like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. If your multiplicity is odd, then it is going to cross. Okay, so this one crosses. And if your multiplicity is even, 2, 4, 6, 8, then it will touch and turn around. Or as I call it, it's going to bounce. All right, so this, is the, this really answers the questions that they ask. Now, as an added bonus, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to draw kind of a quick graph so you can see what this looks like. Okay, let me put it on pause so I can make a nice graph. And I'm going to make my graph in a, a kind of yellow color. I know that I have a 0 at negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, right here. My graph is going to touch there. And at 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. My graph is going to touch there. Okay, from the end behavior of the graph, I know that it's going to start from up here and it's going to cross and go down to some point, I don't know where, but some point. And then at this zero, it is going to bounce off of this zero. Boing, like that. Okay, so I don't know, I have no idea what these numbers are. I think that they're huge, but this is the general shape and idea of the graph. 
zeros, multiplicity, n behavior. Cross, bounce. I hope you enjoyed it.